Hey yo, what's up guys and welcome to my new video. Today I want to show you how to install a custom ROM to your China smartphone. I will use the HTC Galaxy S4 Legend in this video, but you can use this video to install a custom ROM to every Chinese smartphone you want to. And you just need for this a USB cable to connect your phone to the computer. Then you need a recovery image. We will use the CWM recovery to flash our ROM to the smartphone. And then you need a custom ROM which is a zip file. And now I'll show you where you can download those files. So just open up your favorite web browser and go to this site here. It's needrom.com. The link is also in the description so just go in there and click on this link. Then you should come to this web page here. And here you can go to the searching tab here and enter your um, brand and your model number. So for me it's the HTC S4 and then you hit the enter button. And as you can see it found some results for ROMs for the HTC S4. And um, I would not always take the latest one. As you can see, the latest one is for Android 4.2.9. Um, it was um, uploaded today and it maybe contains many bugs. So if you're um, not afraid of bugs, just always take the latest version, which has more features. But um, if you don't want any bugs, if you just want a stable ROM, I would take um, one of the ROMs with the best rating. So as you can see, I would maybe take this ROM here because it has a almost five star rating. And there's also another good site to find custom ROMs and this is xdadevelopers.com. So the link is also in the description. Just click on this and then you come to this web page here. Here you can register a new account and then you go to Android development and hacking and Android general. And here you can see many threads about Chinese smartphones. Like here we have the HTC Galaxy S4 Legend compilation. And this covers almost everything about ROMs, or guides, tutorials, mods, fixes and tools. And on this forum you can also find um, recovery images for your smartphone. And there are some things I want to say about the recovery image. So the recovery image is um, specific for every smartphone. That means um, you have to find this recovery image on your own because I can't provide a recovery image which works on every smartphone. And to find this um, recovery image you can browse the forums and try to find one. Or you go to Google and Google your brand and your model number and then type CWM and then you will find the clockwork mod recovery image for your Chinese smartphone. Okay, and after you found um, the recovery image and your custom ROM, you're ready to go. You just need to connect your phone to the computer as media storage. So let's do this. Okay, it's connected now. Now you um, uh, open up the root of your smartphone and then you just copy in your recovery image and your custom ROM. So just right click them, copy and copy them to the root of your smartphone. I have to replace them because they are already on my smartphone. And then just wait for this to complete. And after it's completed, we will go to our smartphone and then we will start the um, flashing process because the rest of the um, progress just takes place on the smartphone. Okay guys, we're now on the smartphone and the first thing you have to do is power it on and go to the Google Play Store. In the Google Play Store, you look up for MTK Toolbox. Be sure to have internet connection and search for MTK Toolbox and then you should see this app here and then you just um, go in there and install it. I have already installed it so I just go to open. Now open up the app and wait for it to load up. This can take some time, just be patient. And after it's loaded up, you go to um, recovery update. It must be here. Just click on it and then we replace the device recovery mo module for an SD card update function. And here you can see recovery file in SD card. You can see the recovery image and just click on this to install um, the recovery image we have copied on the smartphone. Just go to OK and then it should flash the recovery. And now reboot into recovery mode to um, flash our custom ROM. Okay, you should now be in the CWM recovery and you can use the volume up and volume down key on your smartphone to navigate through the um, menu. As you can see, um, volume down is go down and volume up is up. And if you want to enter any option, you just have to press the power button, which is the accept or enter key. 
And now let's zoom a little bit in. And the first thing we do is do a wipe data factory reset. This will delete all user data from your phone, so be sure to make a backup before. You can do this under backup and restore. But we will need this on factory reset to get a clean installation and prevent errors in the new custom ROM. Okay, after you've made a backup, you just go in there and press yes to perform a full data factory reset. Um, this factory reset um, should take about 30 seconds. As you can see here, it say, uh, says now data wipe complete. And then you should um, be redirected to the um, main menu. And now you go to install zip file from SD card. And now you go to um, choose zip from internal SD card. Or if you have copied it to the external SD card, you go to choose um, zip from SD card. And now you navigate um, to your custom ROM and then just press the enter key to install it. Okay, now press yes a second time to confirm the installation. And now it should start installing your custom ROM. Just be patient, leave your phone alone, don't turn it off. Um, this process can take up to um, 15 minutes and after the installation of the custom ROM it should automatically reboot into Android. Just be patient and wait for it to reboot. Okay guys, the phone is rebooting now and as you can see here's the Samsung boot screen. And now we can also see the Samsung boot animation. And the first boot can take up to 5 minutes, so just be patient. And um, if it's taking um, longer, so for instance 15 minutes, then um, make sure that you have flashed the correct ROM, then take out the battery, um, reboot into CWM, maybe reflash or do a wipe data factory reset. Okay, as you can see the ROM is working and everything was successful. I hope this also works for you. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask and leave a comment here under this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I also see you again in the next videos. Bye!